At least, uh, yeah, I ain't even know you knew how to draw like that, though. Yo, what's up? I'm Serato. I'm a sneaker customizer for the stars. I work with everyone from actors to athletes, celebrities, and influencers. For today's episode, we're making kicks from one of the bounciest guys in the league. Maybe even on Earth. Jalen and Q. He skipped college to go to prep at the legendary Brewster Academy. He's been hooping with the Suns and their G League team this year. Now he's working his way up to the league, so I gotta make sure he's got some clean kicks while he kills people on the court. Yo, Jay, what's good? What's up? Yo, they told me you need some shoes, bro. Yup, I need them ASAP. I got the Kobe EDs. I'm trying to get the Boondock theme ones. Okay, okay, that's lit, that's lit. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite two uh, Boondocks characters? I know everybody got like two. Um, you know, since Granddad just passed away, I, I was with Granddad heavy, but I wanted to do Huey and Riley on um, to one sneaker and then the other sneaker, Granddad. All right, man, we can do that. What colors you want to do for these? I want to do the one with like, um, Huey and Riley when they were fighting, so like a black and red type of thing. Okay, bet. Yeah, I'll figure out, I'll find something that'll fit on the shoe and it'll work. All right, appreciate it. I'll send them out to you. All right, dog. So Jalen just gave me the rundown. Boondocks, you know, granddad just passed, so, you know, we gotta make sure we do something hot for that. And then, of course, you gotta get Huey and Riley on there. We're gonna go figure out how we wanna do these and uh, get to it. The shoes I'm customizing for Jalen are the Nike Kobe ADs. Kobe's known for his low tops, but the ADs are actually mid tops, giving them a little more ankle stability than usual. The kicks have a cool, quick lacing system, making them real easy to put on and take off. Definitely a high performance pair of kicks. I'm excited to jump on these again and see what I can do. How you going, sir? Good, how are you? Appreciate it. Have a good day, man. All right, just got the shoes from the mailman came through in the clutch, so we're gonna go ahead, go downstairs, open these bad boys up, see what we got, and uh, get the paint. All right, so we got the taping all finished up here. I'm thinking that this time, I'm gonna go ahead and see what logos, if any, need to go on the shoe. If not, I'll leave all the Kobe logos intact. Before I even do that, though, I'm gonna go find all the logos, pictures, reference images, all that stuff, and then get that cut out and print it. Throwing down the Q font here on the inside. Uh, I just went with the classic, you know, Nike font. Thought we'd keep it consistent and uh, add a little different element to the shoe that I'm sure he's not expecting. Once again, you see, you know, a lot of these guys all have a lot of the same sort of styles and interests. Animated shows and cartoons and things like this, you know, are very big in the culture. The show's a pretty big commentary on, you know, what goes on and our perspective of things. So it's an important show and uh, it's nice to showcase this one on one of these episodes. We're just doing a red and black colorway just to tie into the theme the show used when the brothers have their fights. So just something simple and clean should turn out pretty good. With this part here, we're just going with a little inspiration from their Scarface style episode. It's a big classic episode for this show. So anybody that actually watches is gonna instantly recognize this and it'll go with the black and red and white theme real well. So now it's gonna go ahead and finish these up with the portraits. Animation style they use there isn't a lot of depth to it. So it's gonna make this a little bit quicker than it normally goes. Hopefully they'll still come out looking pretty good. This piece, of course, is of John Witherspoon, well known for his roles in this show and the Wayne's Brothers and Friday. But of course he passed away this year, so try to do a nice little tribute piece for him on the shoe. Cool character and uh, nobody else could have played it the way he did. All right, we're finished up with the portraits now and we've got the finisher on the shoe, got the laces back in it, so it's time to go ahead and box these bad boys up, ship them out to Jalen and uh, see what his reaction is. For today's shoes, Jalen asked for a boondocks themed design. If you don't watch the show, you definitely should. It's jokes. On the left shoe, I painted my guy Huey big towards the heel and added Riley smaller towards the middle of the shoe. On the inside of the left shoe, I added Huey and Riley again, but made the images black and white outline for some contrast. I dedicated the right shoe fully to Granddad and made his face take up the majority of the outsole of the shoe. The actor who played Granddad in the show passed away last year, so I paid a tribute to him by putting his nickname Pops in the years that he lived. On the inside of the shoe, I put some simple boondocks text so that even if you don't watch the show, you know what's going on here. I think Jalen's definitely gonna mess with these and I'm hyped to see his reaction. Yo, what up, bro? You just got your sneakers, bro. 
At least, uh, yeah, I ain't even know you knew how to draw like that, though. I mean, that's what I do. It's like that? It's every day. That's, that's labor. That's my, one of my favorite shows, so. Be dope. The look you on the top, though? That's tough. All right, I'm gonna hit you for some more. Appreciate that, brother. Of course, of course. All right, bro, bro. I didn't know he was gonna do this. This is tough. This is like a mafia kind of like Scarface look on it. I will be bringing these out in Vegas. Watch my feet. No cap. I know you're trying to get fitted like your boy, so click the link below ASAP. Yeah, right like me. And check out the rest of these videos right here. And subscribe! Stop playing with me. Subscribe! Click that button already, man. Sheesh.